So what you see in front of you is two Chaos characters on bikes. So we just built these and we had to kit bash them because they don't really come as a set or anything like that. Um, they're put together by prime pieces and not prime pieces. But I want to go through exactly why we put them because this is effectively the new Chaos Chain Lord. And this is a sorcerer buff for him. So what we have here is a Chaos Lord um, on a bike. He's got two chain swords. Now, I thought he looked stupid carrying two chain swords because how do you drive a bike? So I put one sort of down below as a as a spare for him to grab. Uh, effectively, he's holding one and he's got the other one in reserve, but he's armed with two, which is the key to the chain lord and where the chain part of chain lord comes from. So he's got a, a, a lord or a leader hat or aspiring champion helmet on with skulls. And then I actually put the skull shoulder pad from the new chaos set. Um, but he's your typical chaos biker mashed together. Now he's accompanied by a sorcerer on a bike. And um, all I did there was just take another character. I had a leftover sorcerer head left over from the um, Chaos Lord slash Sorcerer and Terminator Armor Kit. So whichever one you use, you have the extra head. So that's what this is. And then I just used the standard Flag Bearer uh, arm. And then I put a Zeech top on it that I just had lying around. And it sort of looks about as similar to a Sorcerer as you're going to get. And the aim was to make him about as close to this guy as I could. So you see he's got the Eye of Horrors on the top of his staff. And this has an Eye of Horrors, more or less. And they've got the same helmet. Um, so effectively, this is sort of a sorcerer that you don't have to argue with as being a sorcerer. So that is our two units. And there is a third unit, which uh, hasn't been released yet. But we'll pick him up as we go uh, into this weekend. It's the Dark Apostle, because we want the prayer. But effectively, these three units are our uh, Chain Lord. We can put them in a Supreme Command Detachment of Black Legion, and we can run them with a really nice screen if we want. So, how does the Chain Lord work? Well, the first key component to our Chain Lord is the Black Legion Relic. So, what we do is we make um, our Chain Lord or our Warlord, and we give him a relic or give a character a relic. Uh, and what we're choosing is Gorsvek's Teeth. So, as you can see here in the Vigilist book, what you have is this new chain sword that replaces the current profile one it replaces one of the two he's holding so this one is a just a straight up range melee type melee strength user ap minus three and two damage chain sword which is considerably better than the normal but the secret kick the 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 reason it works is the ability at the bottom which suggests that first of all you get two extra attacks instead of just one each time you roll a wound roll of six, you get a one mortal wound in addition to the normal damage, which means that the normal Lord, which is going to be running four attacks, so now he's going to get six attacks, and on any rolls of six, he does a mortal wound. The six attacks um, are all going to be two damage each, AP minus three when they hit, um, and then with his other chain sword that he's holding, he'll be able to get one extra free attack, which is seven attacks, but that one doesn't matter as much. So that's kind of what you're looking at here so far. So the second piece of our Chain Lord leaves the Vigilist book, and we go to the Chaos Space Marines Codex. And in the Warlord traits here, what we're looking for is Flames of Spite. So in Flames of Spite Warlord trait, which we're going to give to our Chain Lord, if the wound roll for a melee weapon attack made by a warlord is 6 plus, it inflicts one mortal wound on the target in addition to any other damage. So this, paired with our relic blade, will give us two mortal wounds on rolls of 6. As well, we are doing 6 attacks with, with that blade, so there's a good chance that we're going to get one or two 6s out of the deal, mortal wounds. But, there's a third part to this. Coming back to our Vigilist book, or the new Chaos Space Marine Codex, 
what we're looking for is the index for Dark Apostle, which is the unit that will release next week. Dark Apostle has an ability to chant prayers. It knows the Dark Zealotry player and one prayer from the Players to the Dark Gods list. At the start of each round, you can pick one of the prayers this model knows, roll a d6, and on a 3, the prayer is heard. That's not counting Dark's Disciples, who we can take as well, who allow you to add 1 to the dice roll. So pretty much it's going off on a 2 at this point, which is, which is fairly uh, reliable. So the prayer we're looking for in particular in this case is the Soul Terror Portent. So what that says is if this prayer is heard, which is going off on a 2, pick one friendly legion unit within 6 inches of this priest, which is going to be our chain lord, and add 1 to the wound rolls for attacks made with melee weapons. Which means that now, instead of hitting on 6s to get mortal wounds, we're actually hitting on 5s to get mortal wounds. So as you can see, this is really going to help us, because now we're scoring mortal wounds one third of the time, and we're scoring two mortal wounds at a time. But it gets better still. Returning back to our Chaos Space Marines Codex, we have a stratagem we can use for one command point. And what that says is, Veterans of the Long War, use this when a Heretic Astartes Infantry or Biker Unit, of which he is a Biker Unit, is selected to attack in the shooting or fight phase, you can add one to all wound rolls made for the unit until the end of the phase, which effectively means that now, instead of hitting our mortal wounds on a five, we're doing it on a four, and now we're hitting mortal wounds two at a time, half the time that we're actually playing, out of six attacks. But we're not done yet. Because don't forget, we built ourselves a sorcerer to travel with our Chaos Lord. And the reason we brought a sorcerer is because we want to cast a few spells. The sorcerer gets to cast two. And the first spell you're going to cast is Diabolic Strength. And what that says, it has a warp charge of six, which goes off more than half the time. Average roll of seven. And you pick a Heretic Astartes unit. We're going to pick our Chaos Lord. And until the start of your next Psychic Phase, add 2 to the Strength and 1 to its Attack Characteristic. That means that now we are now getting 7 attacks with this weapon, but instead of running at Strength 4, which is what we would be normally running, we are now running at Strength 6. So now we have 7 attacks, Strength 6, AP-3, 2 damage each, throwing Mortal Wounds out 2 at a time, on four ups, re-rolling ones because of Chaos Lord. But we're not quite finished there because we can also use one other spell, which is Prescience. Prescience allows us to take a Heretic Astartes unit within 18 inches of the Psyker and add one to hit rolls there. So by casting Prescience, you could also get him to hit his mortal wounds at even better scores than that. The only catch with using prescience is that you cannot use warp time. And unfortunately warp time is the one you're going to want to take instead because we want to make sure our biker gets to where he needs to go. Don't forget that our biker has a movement of 14. With warp time he has a movement now of 28 and then he can still charge and then do his attacks. So usually what I'm thinking for myself is I'll be taking along Warp Time and Diabolic Strength to make sure he gets to where he needs to be while he lays out mortal wounds like crazy. So the final product looks like this. At 115 points, we're running Flames of Spike, two chain swords, combi bolters for the fun of it on the bike, Frag and Crack and Aids, Gorse of X Teach for a Relic, Mark of Corn, and he's our Warlord. As you can see, with Flames of Spite, the Wound Roll inflicts one mortal wound. Gorse of X Teeth, the Wound Roll has another mortal wound, and we can reroll hit rolls of one. And why do we have a Mark of Corn, you may ask? 
Well, because for three more command points, we can use at the end of the fight phase to select our Chain Lord again, reactivate him, and have him fight again. That's a reactivation, a repilin, and a reconsolidation into one more fight phase, uh, provided we've charged the units that we're piling into, or we can take out a knight. So with all of those, for three CP, plus one more for Veterans of the Long War, which you have to remember works for both sets of attacks, that's four CP. We now have a Smash Captain for Chaos which we just built right here. So what we're going to do is paint him on another day in a later video uh, once I reprime him because he's sort of a mishmash here and uh, he'll be Black Legion because he's gonna have to be and um, yeah welcome to the world of Smash Captains and Chaos So I hope you found this video helpful. At least it explains how the Smash Captain's going to work. There is a second one uh, involving a Thunder Hammer and um, a Jump Pack. Uh, I find this to be more re reliable. It only really relies on a two-up spell, and, or a two-up prayer, and then a spell that goes off on a six, uh, both of which is fairly straightforward and easy to do, minus any denies as well. Uh, this version gets toughness 5 as opposed to the other one which gets toughness 4 which makes them a little bit harder to hit. Um, and then they has the 6 wounds and a, a 2 up normal save and he has a 4 up invol save. So this is a bit more reliable. Uh, start, the, start the game on the board which allows the prayer to work and we can bring him in at our speed so that's sort of our plan for uh, our next few games to see how that's going to work. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please feel free to like it. Add a comment, let me know what you think, if there's anything else we're missing or what kind of math hammering we're, we're leaving out. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. And aside from that, we'll see you at the next video, quite likely when we start painting him or somebody like him.